What's going on, everyone? It's Mr. Hatcher. Today, we will be going through Chapter 4, Module 2 on Ozaria, which is levels 43 through 73. Remember, I want you guys to use this as a walkthrough if you're ever stuck or if you're behind on some levels. I don't want this to just be a cheat sheet that you resort to every time. Remember, if you're not already caught up before I post this video, you're not getting full credit anyway. So you might as well work through the levels on your own before I post the video. So let's jump right into it on level 43. Our goals are to use a for loop, get to the exit, and get mouse to the exit. All right, it gives us some code here to start. We know all we need to do here, once we're there, we're just going to have to have the hero sneak up, hero jump right, and the hero move down, right? So we want to get by this guy, jump over, and get all the way over here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. I'm going to run it just to make sure. I'm going to make sure we're debugging. Looks like I got indentations messed up there. Run it, and success. Let's move on to 44. Here in 44, again, it gives us some starting code, but we're going to want a loop of four so we can move the hero over right and move mouse right as well. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in and then go over it with you. All right, so I went ahead and added our loop here. Remember, it's pretty much the same thing. Once we have all this here, it kind of sets us up. All we have to do is just move mouse and our hero over, and we're good. 44 is good. Let's go ahead and move on to 45. I think a lot of you, are good, a lot of you guys are good on these levels, so I'm going to go through them pretty quickly, but just in case, I'll review them. On 45, it starts off with a little less code. However, it wants us to use a while loop. All right, so, all right, so I went ahead and typed that in. So here it wants us to start with a while loop. So while hero dot get distance to enemy less than three, hero hides. So remember, it's going to find the nearest enemy. When that is less than three, we're going to hide up here. Once we're done hiding, so meaning once the enemy's further away than three, then we can move right and move down to get to here. And then we're just going to redo that. So once again, while here, get distance enemy less than three, we're hiding, we're hiding. And then we just end up jumping right, jumping down, just to finish it off. So let's run this to make sure it's good. Success. Let's go ahead and move on to 48. Here we are on 48. Once again, I'm going to type out the code for you all, and then I'll review it once I get it typed. So this one's pretty easy. Once again, we're not using any functions or anything. You could use some loops if you wanted to, but again, we're just kind of getting noodle through here, getting used to using noodles, and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna run it to make sure it's good. Awesome, I think we're all good on this level. Just go in, do a little maze, and then you're straight. We will now move on to level 51. All right, here we are in 51. Once again, like the previous levels, I'm going to type in the answers real quick and then I'll review them with you guys. Another simple one, we're just moving noodles or our little bunny slash rabbit and then once we get them to the exit, we're all good. Check for success. Perfect. We can now move on to level 54. Once again, the ones that I think you guys are okay with, I'm going to go through pretty quickly. I don't think many of you should need help on this one, but just in case. Here we are at 54, some more function review. So before I do anything, it wants you to add an action here to finish the function, All right? So remember what the functions are, define snake. Anytime we play snake, like we do here on line 12, it's gonna do this. So it's gonna have noodles move up, noodles move right, noodles move down, noodles move right. So let's go ahead and check this out down here. Here, once we play snake, so we have noodles move right, and then we're going to play snake, which is move up, move right, move down, move right. To get here, we're missing one thing in our function, one line of code. 
And if we want to just go here, we're just going to want to have Moodle, noodles move up. So we can just go ahead and have noodles move up. Simple as that. We've added that to our function. All right. Once we've added that to our function, we can now come down here and finish up the rest of our code. So I'm going to type that in and then I'll review that here in a second. All right, I went ahead and added everything. Let's check this to make sure it's all good. So after each one, so we got here and then we jumped up and then we did that same function again. It's just basically like we're doing a loop, but we saved some time by making this function. Let's run it to make sure we're good. Awesome. Remember with the functions, once we defined it, we've done all the hard work and now we can call that function, save us a ton of time later in code. Let's go ahead and move on to level 55 which is very similar. So I may skip. In fact, I will skip 55. I'm going to let you all work on 55. I don't want to give all the answers. I want you guys trying this on your own. Remember, it gives you the function. All you have to do here is add one action, so one line of code, and then you can come down here and continue to move noodles through here, calling that function and then moving a little between that function. But if you can do the last one, you can definitely get this one done. All right, so I'll now jump to lesson 60. All right, here we are at lesson 60. Again, this one gives us the function. So it defines deliver. Every time we call deliver, it will do this function, right? And here it has parameter steps. So in the parentheses, whatever you put for steps, it'll do. So here noodles is going to move right, deliver three. So now noodles is going to move up three. Noodles is going to take, then noodles, noodles is going to move down three. Same thing for here. Once we put that parameter as four, same thing. It's going to run this function. Noodles will move up four. Noodles will move down four. All right. I will let you finish this part. It'll get you pretty far. Let's see how far it gets us. Gets us all the way there, and then all you have to do is move right, move up, jump up, move up. So I won't type all that out. I'll let you do that, but that is simply how you do it. Let's now move on to 63. We're getting through these pretty quickly. You're at 63. Once you can deliver all growth routes to the portals and get you to the exit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and type all the code in. And I will be back with you guys in a second. All right, so I typed all but one line of code in. All right, it says add a line to help noodles drop the fruit. So simply noodles.drop. All right, once we have that, noodles will go get the fruit, run to the portal, go over. Pretty much does it all for us, but just wants us to practice picking up the fruit and then dropping it. You'll see why this is important on this next level. All right, so we'll let him finish that out, and then we will move on to level 64. Here we are at 64. So here, call function at least two more times. All right, so we called it once. It wants us to do it two more times at least. Remember all glow portals and get noodles to the exit. So similar to that last one, we want to go get each of these fruits, bring it back to this portal. So I'm going to go ahead and type the code in and then discuss after. All right, so I got everything typed in. Remember when we're creating our function, we set up parameters here. So we define deliver and then we have up down steps and right left steps. Therefore, every time we fill it in down here, it'll fill it in all the way through. So deliver two and four. What that means is noodle is going to move up two right here for the down steps and then he's going to move right four for the right steps right left steps right move left four move down two because we already set those here and same thing for this one all of these would be three for the line 12 all of these would be four for 13 the up down would be five and the right left would be two simple as that and then at the very end we just move right and jump right all right so let's check that looks like we got a success and then once he gets to that last portal, we'll get to the exit and we're good. Let's now move on to level 65, which is very similar. However, we're going to change a few things. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and type all the code in and then I will be back with you guys to review it. Let me 
One second. All right, so I went ahead and added all the code in. I made a mistake there. Perfect. So similar to that last one, we're just messing with these deliver numbers. Remember, when we are creating our functions, these are the parameters that we're going to fill in later. So we define this function to save us time later. We would not want to have to type all of this in every single time. So we created a function to save that time. And so we can just type in our parameters. All right, how much do we want noodles to jump? One. And how far is he going up or down? Two. All right, so deliver one, two. He's going to jump right one. He's going to take it. He's going to move up. This is that second one. He's going to move up two. And then he's going to jump times two. All right, so whatever, however far he moves left, since this changes every time, multiplying that by two. So it would be two there, four here, six there, and so forth. All right, let's run that to make sure it's correct. Awesome. We're almost through them. We will move on to level 69. Here we are at 69, and it wants us to deliver 27 glow fruits in 30 seconds. All right, and it wants us to change this number here. Remember, on this level, we are going to do some trial and error. Um, I'll go through this level with you guys, and then I will let you finish out the rest of the levels because they are all just trial and error. All right, so say let's try five and see what happens. All right, remember, we're just trial and error and getting everything. Let's go all the way to the end. All right, so with fruit number five, our average stamina was 35, and we delivered 25. However, we want to deliver 27 in that 30 seconds that we're allotted. All right, so we would want to lower the fruit number so we could deliver more because our stamina will go up. All right, so let's try four. All right, and it looks like we have success. Let's see how many we get just to be sure. Perfect. So we delivered 28, which is more than 27. So it's not exact, but that'll play. Let's move on to number 70 since we'll do one more, and then I'll let you guys finish the rest of the chapter out. So it wants us to change this number and change this number to get deliver 40 glow fruits in 40 seconds. So this time we have a little more, um, and we can change the speed. So let's try speed 25 and fruit number 5. All right. What I really want you guys to do is just continue trying these. See what you get here on the previous runs. So let's try the 6 and 30. Because you can kind of get a few of them. All right. So this time, let's just replay that. So we delivered 40 and 42. The first one was 42, so we changed it. So there's no, there's no single right answer, right? So that one worked. But also, if I change it to this, that would work as well. All right, so I just want you to try it. Once again, that got us 42 again. So you can go through, you can try multiple different ways to do this. Just make sure you're doing that try on error. All right, I will let you guys finish 71 and 73. They're very similar to this one where you're just doing try on error. And then that is all for module two. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in class.